Hello guys, we are performing an experiment on amplitude shift K. So in order to perform the experiment, let us understand the concept first. Initially, we are transmit, we want to transmit data 1010. So we have we have a bit generator which will be generating this data. Now the first step in this experiment is to convert the given data into unipolar non-return to zero form. So we here we get non-return to zero form. For one we get logic one for zero we get logic zero. Now the carrier is a sine wave which is having a particular frequency. In this case it will be a 960 kilohertz. Now let us see the output of amplitude shifting. For logic 1 we get the carrier as it is at the output. For logic 0 we get nothing at the output that is output is 0. Again for again we can see that for logic 1 we are getting the carrier as it is at the output and for logic 0 the output is 0. So this, this is the basic concept of amplitude shifting. We have, start, we have seen the basic concept of amplitude shifting. Now let us look at the transmitting circuitry. The first part is the data generator. In data generator, we have to set this switches according as per our data. Uh, now, uh, this is the transmitting circuitry which we are going to use. One of the important things before doing connection is uh, we should we should synchronize the ground of data generator with the synchro uh, with the transmitter section and the clock generator should be given to the clock input so that the uh, data generator and the transmitter are synchronized with each other and they can work properly now we have to use as said earlier we have to use non return to zero we can either use this or this this at the output of this we will give non return to zero signal now this will be the carrier generator as we can see we have two options here 1.44 megahertz and 960 kilohertz this signal we are going to use as a carrier now this will be the Im most important circuitry which is modulator the out one of the input from the input will be from carrier generator and the other input will be from non return to zero circuit now at the output of modulator we will be getting the original amplitude shift king signal but we need to amplify it so we are connecting it to a summing amplifier and the next input to the summing amplifier will be grounded and the output of at this point we will get the original output ASK. We have seen the synchronization part of the data, uh, data generator and the transmitter now let us see the actual connections now the data pin will be going from data, gener uh, data generator to the transmitter data input this is where we can connect the input now we have to as we have to use non return to zero output we, we have to take we have to connect this part as one of the input to the modulator now the carrier input will be the next input to the carrier modulator now as the output of the modulator is been connected to the amplifier input as a input and the next input is grounded and the output we have to connect it to the second uh, second channel. channel of the dso and the input is been connected to the first channel now let us look at the output as we can see this is the input and this is the output so now for for logic 1 we are getting carrier at the output for logic 0 we are getting nothing again for carrier again for logic 1 we are getting carrier at the output and for logic 0 it is the output is 0 so the amplitude shifting is verified thank you after seeing the transmission part now let us have a look at the rece reception of ASK signal which has been transmitted now the one of the important point is the here we get the output of the transmitter is connected at the input of the ASK demodulator now one of the important thing is we have to for proper synchronization between transmitter and receiver we have to connect the ground of transmitter and receiver through this wire so that they will work in synchronization one, of, one more important part is the carrier frequency which we have selected at the transmitter part should be same to that of the receiver so if we have selecting 960 at the transmitter we have to keep the switch such that it will select 960 at the receiver also now the output uh, the, the transmitted out output is connected at the input of ASK demodulator at the output of which we get the original bits which are which have been transmitted for for further filtering process we are connecting a low pass filter in between so that the output is filtered and the output of low pass filter is given to the comparator as one input now the next input to the comparator should be grounded for for proper output and at the output of 
द स्क्वेरिंग सर्किट वी विल गेट आर डी ई एस के ओरिजिनल बिट्स विच बी विच वर ट्रांसमिटेड नाउ लेट अस हैव अ लुक एट द ओरिजिनल बिट्स विच वर ट्रांसमिटेड दिस इज द ओरिजिनल डेटा विच इज बीन ट्रांसमिटेड विच इज लॉजिक वन जीरो लॉजिक वन जीरो नाउ दिस इज द रिसीव सिग्नल वी आर गेटिंग द सेम सिग्नल बैक बट विद ड्यू टू द सर्किटरी प्रॉब्लम वी आर गेटिंग अ बिट डीले थैंक यू